everyone, it's Simmer Hales here and I am back after a lengthy break away from The Sims 4. I had some issues with Vertigo which meant I just couldn't play the game. <laughs> I couldn't play any game and um, yeah, I just needed a break away until I kind of recovered from that. So if anyone's had it, it it's not nice. Um, you just kind of feel dizzy all the time. So yeah, I had to kind of recover from that before I came back. And before I went <laughs> missing in action, I was doing Renos and they they kind of went went down. People people tend to like the Renos that I did. So I wanted to come back with a renovation and I just decided I really wanted to do an apartment. I think I wasn't ready to do like a full build. So I thought I'll do an apartment they're kind of compact and I, I kind of I haven't done apartments very much but I kind of like doing them Um, you can put somebody's personality stamp on an apartment so I've used one of the um lots in the eco lifestyle world evergreen harbour and I downloaded a family off the gallery there's two adults and a dog and I don't, I don't usually play with the pets very much but I thought let's just go for something different so I, I figured they're a pet loving couple they haven't got children yet so I wanted to do it like they've got a main bedroom and then they've got a guest bedroom but I wanted it to be for other uses so I've made it like a, a office stroke second bedroom um at the front of the the apartment and then because of the window placement which you can't change in apartments I really thought this long window suited the kitchen being there it just made sense for the kitchen to be there so I'm I'm not sure what you think about the layout but I kind of <laughs> based the layout around this window because you just can't move it and otherwise it was going to be like a long room and I didn't want that to be the bedroom I mean I could have put two bedrooms at the back but still, this this window placement is a little bit odd. So yeah, I just I just thought with this window it would have made sense for it to be a kitchen. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I I think I just got it into my head that's where it should go, and the whole apartment was kind of based around where I wanted the kitchen. So that's how the bedrooms ended up at the front. Because usually I would try and have the living area around the entrance, but this one is a little bit different but plus they've got the big windows here so I think you would want the living space to make the most of the views so that's my reasoning behind why I've gone with this layout um so yeah like I said it's only a couple but I uh, they've got space to have a guest over so they've got an extra chair on the dining plus they've got the the seats in the kitchen I didn't clutter the kitchen up too much my idea I really wanted to clutter the window but I think with it being an apartment, it doesn't let you put the objects on the outside. You'd, you'd maybe need to use like the tool sheet and, and I'm not very good with that, unfortunately. So I I couldn't I couldn't clutter where I wanted to. So I didn't actually clutter the kitchen up because normally I had a few clutter bits. But I thought I didn't want to clutter the worktops up because there's not much worktop space in this in this particular layout so I yeah I just I just didn't on this one but I did clutter some other areas it does look lived in um but the <laughs> the kitchen's unusually tidy um the living room I had a bit of trouble with the layout on this because I, I kind of wanted the tv on the wall where it is at the minute but it just didn't I couldn't really get the layout to work the way I, I wanted it to and it, it I don't know whichever way I did it I felt like it was a bit off because it was either too left side heavy or too right side heavy and I think I like things quite central so that's why I moved it to the other wall I think it works better here anyway but yeah I've, I tend to like things quite symmetrical and I was trying to do it a bit different and also I didn't really know what to do with the back of the room if I'd have kept the tv where it was so that just didn't really work which yeah I think it's just trial and error sometimes with builds but once I decided to put the tv on this back wall I thought let's just make a big feature wall out of it I used some of the I think I think the boxes from are they tiny living or dream home decorator uh, I can't really remember which pack they're from 
Uh, and I've used a few things from the pet stuff, not the not the stuff pack. The cats and dogs. Um, I think that's got some nice things in it. I think this rug is from there as well. But yeah, I think it's got some nice bits in. So I, especially with having a dog in this apartment, I've used a few things from there. These lights are one of the newer ones. And I really wanted to kind of make a feature of them. So I was going to put a different light in it. But I actually thought just sizing them down, it made it look like a bit of a feature light. So the only thing that was a bit too bright with four of them so i think i removed one so th there's still three but I, I think if you found it too bright you could either dim the lightness or remove one of the lights and just to say i did actually upload this build but you will have to remove you'll have to build some of the walls back in where the doors are because i tend to remove them and then you can upload it as one room but if you don't remove them you can't upload the build so back to the actual build itself. I think once I got the furniture in the main living kitchen area, it was more about the details and the theme of the room. Um, and I think once I got the furniture placed, I could get the kind of the feel of the room more. And then that's when I made the feature wall. And I think once I'd got the feature wall in place, the room came together a lot easier. Because I think with the bare windows and I'd, I'd kind of made the walls all cream. I was thinking with an apartment, like a rental property, sometimes you move into them and the walls are just blank canvases. So that's how I started the the look. I mean, they could have bought the apartment, but even so, I, I was thinking that way with an apartment. It's usually like a blank canvas. So with the, the walls plain, I just... I was trying to get the feeling of this family that I downloaded and what they would want. So because the the they're a dog, um, they've got a dog, and I, I'm presuming they're animal lovers. Um, I've put a couple of dog ornaments. So the plant on the table is actually a dog with a plant in, and then there's a little dog statue. Um, the other one isn't, but I just thought it went with the room. So it looks more like a parrot that one. Um, and then I've got. Um, obviously the little, the, the dog bed is a, a dog as well. So yeah, we've got these little dog references throughout. And then also this bookshelf where there's loads of little gaps to fill in. I did put, did I put another dog statue in here? Uh, I put one somewhere. <laughs> it might, it might be in the bookcase. I can't remember. Um, and I've also used this weird little fish one that I, did that come with Solani? I can't remember where that one's come from. So yeah, we've got the weird little fish statue. And then I spent ages filling up the gaps with the books. So I used the red bookshelf mod, which it's not a bookshelf mod, just the red shelf mod. Um, But it still doesn't class as a modded build because I deleted the shelf. It's just to place items easier. I find this a good, a good tool to, to fill things up. I think other people use one of the shelves from dream home decorator but i i like this one it's got loads of slots on it and it's just easy to fill gaps up with this uh I, you know whatever your preference is but i, I quite like this this little shelf because it's just easy to fill fill little gaps up in your builds that can be awkward otherwise because even with if you raise items with nan they don't always line up properly so this this just makes it so it lines up perfectly and then it was just like resizing the books to fill these these spaces and yeah fill it up with little statues and we've got some random <laughs> really random bits in here um i think i've put an urn on here uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry to whoever um died i think it says grandma's urn but <laughs> yeah we've got that in there um a little uh, statue and incense burner and then, yeah, the books took me a while to fill up that shelf because it is quite a big shelf, but I think it's got that nice mix between modern and still fitting in with other furniture. I don't think it stands out of place. Depends which colour you pick, I think. If you pick the pure white one, it's probably a bit too modern for, for some builds, but I think this is a bit... We've got a bit of a nice mix. The, the kitchen is very modern, but I think we've got a mix of items in here. 
I was also trying to find something to go above the microwave, but I just didn't find the right kind of item. I was thinking like something hanging or I could have maybe used the the dream catcher actually thinking about it. That would have looked quite nice there. Um, but I just, I, yeah, I, I missed it when I, when I was looking through and I was trying to find shelving or just something practical, but nothing really looked right. Um, I think the shelf with the, the watering can was probably the nearest thing I found, but just, yeah, I just wasn't happy with the stuff that I put there. So I didn't actually end up filling that area. Um, but one thing I did include in this build, which I'm really actually happy that we've got is the light switches. So I like, I like, I used to use the, the little, I think it's from the spa day pack, but there's a little like square light that you can put on the wall. And I used to use that as like a pretend light switch. So I'm really glad that we've got them. I'm not even bothered that they don't work. I just think those little details look really nice in builds. So I'm all about the, the little details and I'm not bothered if it, it doesn't actually do anything, which I know some people was a bit, a bit disappointed with, but I am quite happy with them. Um, for the bedroom, I went. For, I really like this bed. Um, I went for this yellow colour and then I was, I was kind of going down the yellow and black route. But I think I made it too dark. <laughs> so I was kind of just going with the theme and, and what went with this bed. But when you compared it to the rest of the apartment, it, it was just too dark. So I come in later on and change it and just brighten it up. This room I actually loved in the dark colours and all the accessories to go with it. I really, really liked it, but I just think it was wrong for this apartment because it didn't go with all of the rest of the rooms. And it it was just, yeah, it just stuck out like a sore thumb in this apartment. But it's it's a bit gutting because I did, I really liked the overall look. I just thought it was, it was too, yeah, just, just too, maybe too out there actually for this, this build. <laughs> so, um, but I, I did actually like the original version, but I think when something doesn't work, it just doesn't work and it didn't work in this build, but yeah, you've got to play around with them and you've got to try. But yeah, this, this original color I did really like, um, but hey, who I, I changed it cause I just didn't think it worked for the, the family. Um, and it looks a bit more neutral by the end. So the two bathrooms I have done probably in my really normal style. So I like this base game tile where it's just a half tile. Because then if you've got a shower, you can put a full tile wall there as well. Um, it's got the matching swatch, which is, is nice because we don't always have that. And then, yeah, just the basic, basic things in the two bathrooms. So we've got towel racks and... Um, one's got a shower, one's got a bath. Actually, the ensuite doesn't do bad because it's only a four tile bathroom. It's got a shower, a toilet, and a sink. The main bathroom is still quite small, but we've got a bath in it, a toilet, and a sink, and some clutter. Um, I've used this is from the oh, what's it called? The mountain pack. <laughs> I'm so bad with pack names. Um the Japanese pack, I can't remember what it's called, um, Mount something or other. <laughs> this shelf is from there, but it's, it's kind of ideal to add clutter to. So I thought this, this was okay for the bathroom because it, yeah, I, th I think it works okay for a bathroom. Um, I wish the black swatch was a dark, I wish they had like two versions of it, like we got with the immaculate shelf. So you've got like this more grey, turn down black and then a proper black because I think in this bathroom particularly the bold black would have worked better because it would go with the tiles um it's it's just like a minor little detail but stuff like that I think it having the choice there it just helps so um yeah it, it's not like a big deal or anything but I just think like the immaculate shelf it really helps to have those different variants and there is quite a big difference between the, the grey black and then a, a a proper true black. So yeah, it would be nice to have both, but 
if I had a colour wheel, it wouldn't, wouldn't be an issue. So this is the spare room stroke office. And I wanted to kind of, I wanted it to be, you know, like one of those rooms where it's not used all the time. So it's a bit like a dumping room, but it's also a room that has got multi-use. That's what I wanted this room to be. So it was trying to find a place where the desk could go. Because originally I wanted the desk to be a feature in the middle of the room. But I thought, well, actually, if it's a multi-use room, tuck the desk in one corner and then you can use the room for multiple things. So we've got the Murphy bed. So if you've got a guest over, you just pull it out and then the apartment actually sleeps four people, which for a modest... I wouldn't say it's a small apartment. I think it's a modest size apartment. I think for, for this size apartment, sleeping four is not bad and that's four adult slims as well because obviously they can scoot across so you you can sleep four it does pull out there's, there's enough room for it to pull out um you've got a desk or and a little storage drawer but not a full wardrobe in here so i don't think this place is bad the only thing that it kind of irks me a little bit is the door has been placed on in the middle of tiles so you can't but the wall up to the door because it's it's in the middle of the tile. So it and that front door. So the hallway is probably a bit wider than it could be. But I think it, it's quite a nice space to walk into because otherwise it'd probably feel really narrow and a bit imposing. But yeah, one of those walls up to the door, you could have had a wider room at one side. But yeah, just with the placement of that door, it's not possible. I suppose you could have a smaller entrance and then the walls come in but I don't know <laughs> I didn't go for that so anyway that that's that's what I've come up with so anyway we're nearly at the screenshots and I've kind of rambled on a bit so <laughs> apologies um but I've been away a little while so I'm a bit out of practice so I hope you've enjoyed this first build back and yeah enjoy the screenshots let me know what you think and hopefully it won't be such a gap before my next one I am going to try and keep on top of it now it was it yeah it was just vertical that got in the way but it's gone now and I can get back to doing what I enjoy, which is The Sims 4 and building. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'll be back with another renovation soon. Take care, everyone. Have a good week. Bye.